So this is our 2004 National RV Tradewinds. It's on the Dynamax chassis with the 83 Cummins, 350 horse. And the only problem that we recently had with it is the 3M mask on the front of it has, I already, already removed the top part, some chips there, but the problem is, is uh, water and mold got behind it and made it this color and kind of a rough finish. It started to crack on it right here. So um, I'll show you guys how to remove all this. So far I've gotten the top down and there's still a little bit left around here, but um, yeah. <laughs> As I was saying, uh, there was a chip, a couple chips here. So you gotta be careful when you're using the eraser wheel, you don't wanna go through all the way. You don't wanna hold it on there because it'll burn through, especially if there's a chip, it'll, it'll pick it off. So there's a couple spots here that have them. But other than that, it's looking better than it was before. After you get your small section done with the eraser wheel, you're gonna to want to take some acetone on a rag and wipe it all off the glue, the residue that's from behind. And it'll all come off. And then once you do that, I'll show you what. So to do. as I finish the eraser wheel, there was a residue left behind, kind of like this. So you're gonna to want to take your acetone, like I said, and rub it off. And once you finish that, you're going to be left with these little um, little bumps from where the eraser wheel left some of the material thickened, thickened up. So you want this because that's what the acetone likes to take off, not the big, thick uh, bumps. So once you finish with the acetone, you can kind of see how it comes off. So that's just from there to there, but and then that's the little bit left you got to do. So next, you're going to want to take your eraser wheel and just go over these little tiny ones. So then once you go over it with the eraser wheel one more time, you just take your rag and wipe it all off. And this might, you might have to do it a couple times, but you can kind of see there's a little bit left, but 
I'm gonna work on this section next and we're gonna get this 100%. So after you finish uh, with the acetone, you can kind of see how, how nice it came out. It might be a couple little things, but you can kind of get them out if you really care. So you're gonna wanna do next is have some detail spray and you're just gonna spray it up a little bit. And you're gonna wanna just, you know, use your microfiber and work that in. Cause if there's a little acetone on there, the residue, you wanna get that off before you do the next step. So this, this is a, I have to do next. So this is gonna be your last step. You're gonna take some polish. This is my preferred polish. It works pretty good. And you could do it with a, a rotary tool, but I like doing it by hand. So I don't wanna like burn through the paint or anything. Cause this is kind of a thin layer of paint on the front. You're gonna wanna take um, your polish on a microfiber applicator pad, or in my situation, just the towel folded up. You're gonna wanna do three little dots. You're gonna kinda do it just like that, spread it around. So as you finish up with the polish, you're gonna wanna um, let it sit for a minute until you see a little haze. So what you could do is you could fold over your towel and pretty much just buff it off and this is either your last step or one of the um yeah this is gonna be your last step pretty much you're gonna want to apply a wax after this but you can kind of see how well the reflection came out you can kind of see the metallic back in the paint again it kind of enhances the shine that maybe on a different motor motor coach the um that stone might have taken off but in my situation i did it just the right amount so it did not take any paint or clear coat off so this is going to be your last step you're going to want to take some spray wax and just spray it on and wipe it right off and you can see how well that did and it add give you a little protection too. So once you finish, you're gonna wanna continue those steps all the way down and it'll look pretty good. And just reminder, do not press down hard. You will chip the paint. Uh, I learned that of my first trial up top, but the second time around we, I did it pretty, pretty good. So um, just gotta work on the bottom section there and you can kind of see you get all this stuff off and it gives you gives you a nice finish rather than all that cracking and it ages the bus so that makes it look a lot better so if anyone has this 3m mask on their motorhome and they don't know how to get it off like try how i did i mean we tried putty knives heat guns uh goo gone um, acetone itself did not want to come off, but when we did a small project on one of our trucks, taking off, debadging it, the glue, we tried it on this and it worked in our favor. So just, uh, continue. This is the drill. Um, I ended up going with, um, it's a cord. It's got a cord on it because the um, cordless drill I used before kept on dying so um, this works pretty good for me um, you get these uh, I think I'll link them in the description um, eraser wheels uh, 3m maybe make some I think but you're gonna want to stop at the line obviously but this is a pretty good used one um, so once you do the um, drill you're gonna want to take the acetone and it's, it's, it cleans the residue off pretty much. It does what it says. So cleaned off all that little bit of um, kind of that stuff there, but I haven't done this yet, but that's our finished product. So did pretty well. Then after you do that, you're gonna wanna take your detail spray or any kind really. I use Adam's um, detail spray and it worked pretty good. Kind of just takes off any residue or um, kind of dust or anything. This is what came off of the motorhome too, all this kind of glue and 
could see all the little dust there that you don't want on there when you're gonna try to polish it off. So if there's any little thing, you wipe it off with the detail spray because you never want to use a dry uh, microfiber on a high-end motorhome because you potentially could scratch. So any little bit of lubricant helps. Once you do that, you're gonna want to let it dry. If there's any uh, detail spray on there. And then lastly, you're gonna want to take some polish. This is the polish I used, and you're gonna want to take a little microfiber and kind of work it into the paint. Once it hazes, buff it off, you're all set. Use some wax to protect it um, against the sun and elements, and you'll get a perfect shine, just like that. So once um, you finish, you can go by section by section, but what I mostly did was I took off the, I did a whole section, took it off with acetone, detail sprayed it, did a whole nother section and kind of did it that way. And then I haven't polished this yet, but even without any polish, you can kind of see the reflections pretty good. Polish really just um, make sure that if you kind of scuffed anything or don't have that reflection you want, polish isn't necessary, but will definitely make the reflection better. So. Thank you guys for watching the video. Um, just wanted to help some people out because I know this is a major topic and kind of in the RV uh, world that how do I get it off and all these different people. A lot of different methods work for other people, but the methods I tried did not work for me. So the eraser wheel, that worked the best for me. It's time consuming. So right now I'm on spring break. So I decided I just, I want to get this done for my family so uh it doesn't look bad anymore so i mean um all this stuff that i used um you could pretty much pick up at a local hardware store or even online acetone you can get a lowe's you can use any quick detail you want um polish just use any polish you want really i mean i like mcguire's so i went that route and then wax just use any wax just to um protect it from the sun and elements of the road so i don't believe we're gonna put another 3m mask on this motorhome because at this point i don't feel like redoing this whole process again in 10 years if this happens again so thanks